Are you struggling to win your games in any of these ranks? Chances are your game sense is holding you back. And in this series, Think Like an Immortal, I basically dissect my clips in Immortal slash Radiant games and explain my thought process so you can easily understand and learn from. Clip 1 Sage Split In this clip I showcase how I remain patient and take individual fights using adequate crosshair placement when attempting to retake the A site. As I rotate towards A, the enemies have taken control of the site and I notice screen has a deep astral smoke so I wait for the smoke to fade away in case there are enemies in the smoke or on the other side of it. At this point I have no idea where Killjoy is located, she can either be on site which isn't likely since she hasn't been spotted on the minimap or she could be playing lineups. She appears in heaven killing my rays and I expect her to swing out on me but, but she does the correct play and repositions from A main. Clip 2 Skybind Showcasing how I punish players by isolating myself from multiple angles and taking favourable trades. I use my tiger or dog at the start of the round, I spar the rainer alone and instead of just focusing her, I look around hoping to spot any more enemies. I also notice that Killjoy's turret is signalling there are enemies in hooker, which probably means it'll be a potential B hit. I hear the rainer pushing up long and I go for the undodgeable sky flash which lets me easily kill her. I hear the omen TP backside and instead of standing in the open, I tuck myself into this corner so I'm not exposed to both omen and the enemies in hooker. Clip 3 Jet Frenzy I demonstrate how you can punish enemies by being a rat and flank them instead of rotating using the conventional method. I noticed the enemy showed no presence on it on a pistol round but rather mid and I use that to slowly flank them gaining as much intel as I can. But instead of going back to the A side I look to go through the enemy spawn I get aggressive and use my smoke to reposition on top of the boxes and catch the jet. I then dash into market, reloading and then going for another peak which ultimately gets me my ace. Clip 4 Jet Ult I yet again explain how being patient and using your ability to bail out enemies will help you win rounds. I wait for the wall to break so I don't give away my position and I notice the Astra kills my teammate and then I hear the rays making steps coming from hell. I knew rays was planting the bomb and I look to see where the Astra is before killing the rays. At this point the Astra can be in two positions, she can be CT or she can be wrapping around to heaven and instead of looking for her I basically bail out her position by smoking and going for a fake defuse. Instead of her pushing the smoke, she could have waited 3 to 4 seconds which is how long it takes for a half to fuse and that's also how long jet smoke lasts. Clip 6 Killjoy Bind I showcase how to isolate fights by not exposing yourself to multiple angles and also using the enemy's utility against them. I start off by holding this tight angle hoping to get a free shot before falling back but the phoenix had other ideas flashing me away causing me to go back into elbow. I tried to hold this off angle but the sky tiger sees me putting me in a very tricky situation and instead of staying in the spot I am right now, I take incremental steps ready for the sage to be holding me and I catch her out. I look to reposition yet again in long by standing in this off angle which nets me the kill but I instantly get traded out. If you want to watch more of these type of videos then check out my previous thing like an immortal. Thank you all for watching and peace.